I just wanted to show the Aces Transformer book, T100. Um, this is it here. And I wanted to show it playing Fall Fantasy 11. It's not a high-end computer. It doesn't have a GPU. It's got, just got embedded uh, Intel graphics. And that's about it. And um, Intel Atom CPU at uh, about 1.33 gigahertz. So I'll show 11 running natively. Um, this is it comes with a laptop, but I'm going to turn it to a tablet. Get rid of the keyboard. So now it's pretty much a tablet. And we will open that up. And I'm going to use a PS4 controller. I just use the DS4 tool for that. And uh, it's got an on screen keyboard. And I'm turn that away real quick. Do my security token as well, so one more second. All right, And um, so this is running without a AC adapter on right now, so it's a bit less powerful than being, being compared to plugged in, but I want to show that it does run without being plugged in okay, because obviously if you have a tablet you're going to be running it without always connecting to an AC adapter anyways. And I'm um, not using Windower here. Uh, this tablet's a Windows 8.1, and normally Windower works okay in Windows 8, but once in a while it crashes on boot, and it has something to do with. I'm not sure if it's a UAC or not, or something interrupting it. So I haven't looked at it yet, but there's a reason why I haven't worked on it too long. I'll show you after this. So I'm just going to jump in the game real quick, and uh, I'll show the frame rate. Um, so the controller works okay, uses Bluetooth, and it's just a DS4 tool. And um, I'll probably try to bring the camera closer if I can, so you can see the frame rate. So the frame rate's not going to be perfect. It works. Um, I've got some of the settings down, tweaked down, um, shadows are off. Shadows always cost a little frame rate for a lot of things if you don't have a high-end device. So, this is in-game using a PS4 controller on the tablet. Goes pretty good. It's got some frame rate issues, but nothing that's terrible. Um, let's see. As long as you can see okay, then it's pretty good. So I just pay attention to the frame rate, and uh, I've got one more thing to show after this. And, um, lock on to somebody. There we go. And that's really the main thing is the tablet playing 11. Uh, Anquish Beasts. I'm not going to do that. Oops, I'm knocking my phone down. Alrighty, so let's um, let's shut down. Shut down. So one more thing to show. So this Asus um, tablet runs for a little under 400, I think. So it's the less powerful Surface Pro, and it's pretty good for what you get. And this is the Steam version of 11, but it doesn't really matter. It's all the same thing. It's just 
think I ran it without steam. I don't remember. I ran it from the desktop. Alrighty. I'll let it shut down cleanly. So the other thing I'll show, so the frame rate issue, I like my frame rate to be perfect. So, I have got Steam open, and I'm trying to type, and the keyboard's not connected, and that would be why. And um, I have a computer downstairs that's running Steam, and Steam just released streaming out of open beta. Wow, this looks really... Aspect ratio is weird. I think it's I think it forces full screen on even uh, windowed things. So that is there we go. So right now that's my desktop on my other computer. Oh, I can't touch. Hold on. Put down the phone real quick. I'm gonna have to log in. I've got my keyboard. There we go. So, I was doing touch screen, which I didn't like, because it's streaming from my downstairs desktop. All right, I'm gonna log in real quick. So, of course, the main thing you can see is that everything's full screened. That's how uh, Steam handles it, which is fine, actually. And this actually is not, um, it's not, this is not 11 in Steam for me. This is actually, I don't have Steam installed downstairs. I don't have 11 installed on the computer desktop um, through Steam. It's just installed through the default installer. So this is actually a non-Steam add-on, and it works. So again, this is running on my desktop downstairs, which is high-end desktop, using Steam's in-house streaming to my tablet with no third-party things to stream it to Steam. The only other things I'm using is the DS4 tool for the controller and uh, Windower, which of course is nice. I, I just got this working today, so I haven't had a chance to play with this too much. And so Steam handles Windows changing quite well. No problems. Let me make sure the controller works. Uh, no? I have to wonder how uh, in-house streaming handles controllers, but it should... Oh, I know why. I don't have my desktop uh, set up for controls. controller downstairs. So this is my uh, PC configuration. But I'm going to stick to be doing this, the streaming mostly, because the frame rate should be perfect. So if you remember before how the frame rate was a bit low, you can see it's essentially perfect now. Um, I can probably do a show frame rate. Yep. So it's going to be hard to see, but in the upper right-hand corner, there's the frame rate of 90... 29.4, which is pretty much max. 30 is max in FF11. So here I am around a city that can knock down your frame rate pretty well, as opposed to being nowhere with no one else around you. So I'm going to stick to that. That's in house streaming, running from my desktop, better frame rate on the tablet. And um, I've set up my controller and it should be good. So this is the Asus Book uh, Windows 8.1 running. And it's quite nice. All right.